In this video we're going to look at how you can get two free Kitbash 3D kits and uh, put them into your asset browser so that you can use them in any project. All the textures will be applied and there's more than 60 free models, high quality assets in these Kitbash 3D kits. To get them I put a link to both of them in the description and uh, you can choose your format, uh, so Blender in my case, and your render engine which, which is native for Blender. Check out and then you have to fill in uh, a couple of things. Uh, but I think it's uh, totally worth it for these awesome kits. Um, and after that I'll take you to the steps of uh, putting it in your asset browser. So once you've downloaded them, uh, grab your zip files and put them into a nice folder. So I got this folder for 3D assets and a kit bash. And I unpacked all of the uh, files. Then you've got one uh, with all the textures and one with the blend file. So I uh, got the blend file and uh, picked it up and put it into another folder. Because I got this folder in Blender and then my asset browser. Blender knows that I put my assets in that folder. So if you don't have a folder like that, uh, make a new folder somewhere on your computer and call it kitbash 3d or uh, asset browser so that you can go into blender and then into your uh, preferences and then into um, uh, file path so that you can make a new file path and uh, choose your uh, folder where you put your blend file in so blender knows that there is a blend file in that folder where assets can be in. Uh, you can see I have my 3D models right here and that is the folder I put my kitbash um, uh, blend file in. So Blender knows that there can be assets in that file. Open the blend file you just um, put into that folder and go to and go to file external data find missing files because all the textures will be missing. Find your file with all the textures and um, uh, click find missing files. So now Blender knows uh, has found all the textures and all of your textures will be applied. After that you can start setting them up in your asset browser. So open one up and change your viewport to something else because that will be less laggy. Put them correctly into your asset browser, right click and empty and uh, select the hierarchy, put the whole hierarchy into a new um, um, collection and then unlink the empty object and then put the uh, collection as an asset in your asset browser. After that you can see in all that there is there and you can add some new catalogs to put your kit bash assets in different uh, catalogs. There is quite a bit of uh, empties in the space one. So you will have to go through quite a bit of empties and right click them, put, uh, select the hierarchy, M to a uh, new collection and right click the empty, unlink it and then uh, mark the collection as an asset. So you have to do that a couple of times. The uh, Cyberpunk one only has uh, six uh, highly detailed models. So it depends on what you want. But once you have set it up, it's very useful and um, you can use it in any scene you want. For the Cyberpunk kit, do the same thing. Uh, put it into a folder where Blender knows assets can be. Uh, find the uh, missing files and then start doing the same technique to put them into your uh, asset browser. Now you have all the assets also collection in uh, your asset browser. If you want to make it editable, control A and then uh, make instant real to make the instant real and not a collection anymore. You can also keep it a collection it will be less performance heavy for the computer, so that could be better. But if you want the loose parts, you can Ctrl A and make instance real to make the instance real. That was the video about uh, free Kitbash 3D assets. Now you can start making awesome cities and uh, space scenes 
If you thought the video was helpful, maybe consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. I have two uh, other videos on uh, free assets that you can put in your asset library. So if you're interested in that, definitely check them out. Thanks for watching and hopefully till next time. Bye.